In this uh, tutorial, we will look at uh, protein digestion, the uh, breakdown of the protein molecule uh, takes place both in the stomach and the uh, small intestine. Let's briefly look at protein digestion in the stomach. The parietal cells in the gastric mucosa secrete hydrochloric acid. The uh, protein molecule is uh, denatured by the hydrochloric acid as the acid opens up the uh, coiled structure of the molecule. Now there are chief cells present in the gastric mucosa and they secrete pepsinogen. Pepsinogen is an inactive form of pepsin but when it comes to contact with the hydrochloric acid pepsinogen undergoes a conformational change and it changes into pepsin. Pepsin is an endopeptidase. It breaks down long protein chains into smaller peptides. So if we look at this protein molecule, we know that it's a long chain. The endopeptidase cleaves the molecule inside the chain to break it down into smaller segments of amino acids. In contrast, there is the exopeptidase that cleaves amino acids at the ends of the chain. So note the difference between the endopeptidase and the exopeptidases. So in the stomach, pepsin can partially digest about 10 to 15 percent of the dietary protein intake. The rest of the protein digestion takes place in the small intestines. So let's look at protein digestion in the small intestine. Now pancreas releases a zymogen that is called trypsinogen in the duodenum via the sphincter of odi. Recall that bile juice contains bicarbonates that neutralize the acid in the chyme in the duodenum and trypsinogen at higher pH converts into trypsin. And trypsin also helps convert some of the other zymogens released from the pancreas, thus activating chymotrypsin and elastases. Now trypsin, chymotrypsin and elastases are endopeptidases. Trypsin also activates carboxypeptidases, which are exopeptidases. Recall earlier in the video, uh, we looked at the difference between the endopeptidase and the exopeptidase. The pancreatic proteases cleave the polypeptides into oligopeptides and amino acids. The peptidase activity commences outside the mucus and the brush border and then it continues inside the enterocytes. Free amino acids then leave the cells and enter the bloodstream. So in summary, we have looked at protein digestion and the role of pepsin in the stomach and trypsin in the small intestines in protein digestion.